NBC4i team has uncovered what authorities say might be a scam targeting people who just are looking for a place to live. Joel Grover caught the whole thing on hidden camera, and he's here now with this exclusive report. Well, Chuck and Colleen, when you look for a home or an apartment to rent, you often start by looking at ads, either online or in the papers. But when you call some of those ads, they often lead you to what are known as rental listing agencies. Our investigation found some of these agencies promise to find you a place to live, but only take your money. Please don't touch the camera. Angry customers confront the manager of a rental listing agency. Are you going to answer these people's questions? Demanding refunds. I want my money. And answers. As soon as I had my money, screw you. The agency's response? They called the cops on the customers. Everybody out right now. These people are all complaining about star rentals. One of 40 rental listing agencies licensed by the California Department of Real Estate. Marissa Marino, who's disabled and in a wheelchair, says she paid Star Rentals last spring to find her a new apartment. They left me homeless because they promised to give me a home that I can afford and I have not gotten anything from them. To see how these agencies operate, we sent these two members of the I team undercover to Star Rentals. Hi. Looking for a two bedroom apartment. What's the maximum you guys can get? Like 1300 A saleswoman named Andrea collects $150 up front. 8, 10, 20, and 40. And then I got you some good properties. gives us a list of supposedly available rentals. And they're all they, in our price. They, yeah. So all of these they, listings are available right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Within minutes, I started knocking on the doors of oh, the apartments already been rented of the eight listings star gave us you guys just rented this house a week ago oh a week ago and found five were not even available and the other three what's the monthly rate 2500 2500 a month we're way above of our $1,300 a month price limit may I please speak with Andrea so our undercover customers tried calling and calling. Hi, yes, is Andrea available? Their salesperson at Star. They just hung up on me. But she was almost never available. She's busy with a client. But that was a lie. Our hidden cameras were watching Andrea, and we saw her walking around the office at the same time the I-team was told. Oh, she's with a client? Other customers say the same thing happened to them. In April, I've been calling ever since then. Like Marissa Marino, who says she got listings from Star that were worthless. They will not pick up my calls. They will tell me nobody's available. Star's contract says you have a right to a refund if it doesn't find you at least three available rentals within five days of paying the fee. So our people went back to their saleswoman, Andrea. Well, we were just actually here to get a refund. Who passed them off to a manager named Jonathan. So you can't give us a refund today? It won't be today. That's a violation of the law right there they should have offered you a refund. We showed our undercover video of Star Rentals to one of the heads of enforcement for the Department of Real Estate. It's misrepresentation uh, on the surface. It's fraud and dishonest dealing uh, at its heart. And authorities say Star isn't the only agency doing it. Earlier this year, the state shut down global rentals operating out of this El Monte strip mall. But we found another agency, International Home Rentals, now in the exact same storefront. Authorities say they're investigating International for doing business just like Global and Star Rentals. Did Star Rentals tell everyone here they'd get a refund? Yes. yes. Did anyone get a refund? No. So we went back to Star with these unhappy customers to try and get some answers. I'd like to talk to Jonathan. But doors were slammed in our faces. Okay. And the manager slipped into the back room where he called the cops. You got everybody out right now? Star did talk to our customers off camera, but none of them came out with refunds. They have to give us our money back. Now, the manager of Star Rentals, the guy who slammed the door in my face, called me on the phone to say he was now going to offer refunds to most of the people in our group, though he still denies their allegations. As for international home rentals, just before our investigation went to air, the state slapped them with this order to stop doing business, claiming they too have been taking customers' money and not providing them with available rentals. The owner of International told me he denies the government's allegations, but he says he will stop signing up new customers until he has a hearing with the state. And finally, we love to hear from our viewers. This story began with a tip from a viewer just like you. If you know of something we should investigate, 
send us an email to NBC4I team at NBCUNI.com. Now, you spoke to the manager a couple of days ago. Have any of those folks received refunds since then? None of them Not have gotten one. refunds yet. Joel, how can you prevent getting ripped off in something like this? Well, here's a good thing. If you're going to go to one of these rental agencies or if you call an ad and they answer the phone, go to the Better Business Bureau's website. Put in uh. the name of the rental agency. With some of the agencies in our story, dozens and dozens of complaints came up. That should have been a warning flag to some okay. of those customers. Great. Got it. Great job as always.